What's up Dapper Squad, it's your boy Darius back at it again with another movie. Today we're doing Bubble. I know absolutely nothing about this movie. This one is specifically requested for my boy Alpha Wolf who has been requesting it for a while. He specifically requests that we do it in the dub. So we are gonna be doing that today. Remember to check out that Patreon if you guys want one week early access to the movies as well as the full uncut versions of the shows and movies we put on the channel. Come check out the Twitch if you guys wanna watch these two weeks before they even go on the Patreon. Um, I appreciate y'all, I'm not gonna waste any more time. Um, Bubble came out in 2022 on Netflix. Let's do it. I feel like I'm in a bubble now. I'm in the Milky Way, I'm a bunch of galaxies. I feel like I'm in the beginning of an X-Men movie. How they always go through the genes and now I feel like I'm on drugs. I'll be on. Is this a dream? Is this a flash flood that happened? Is Gives me like Kingdom Hearts vibes. I have not a clue what's going on. The music gives me AOT vibes. Like I feel like I should be pointing at the ocean right now. Is this about parkour? I thought this was going to be about dystopian mermaids. Music by Hiroyuki Sawano. And Eve. We got the AOT composer and we got Eve. With Studio Wit animating this? You can't go wrong with a can with hitters like that. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna say is I had no idea this was about parkour. The second thing I'm gonna say is I'm loving how sunny and vibrant it is, yet it's so post-apocalyptic. And I'm loving the camera work. Is this a game of tag? What are we doing right now? I'm loving this camera work. This really feels like a video game. What the fuck is an antlion pit? What happened to the world we currently live in? Now they look like something straight out of Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Now parkour, especially with group centric shots like these, can definitely lend towards some really cool cinematography. I recognize so far a couple of the voice actors. The antlion pit looks like something out of a video game. They do have teams on deck ready to rescue. I like that. Stray bubbles in an away game. And we still don't even know what went on with the intro. The intro is like, what the hell is this movie? I love how he has his music on. So seamlessly elegant. <laughs> Got there before the rescue team even did. How much sound is incoming? Man, it's taking it all in. And definitely has some extra sensory and sensory perception. Okay. This parkour is incredible and I love the camera work. That is one hell of a route. Again, I love the camera work. So dynamic. There's the flag. So this is who they were saying just does whatever he wants. And I still really do like this post-apocalyptic setting. What the hell is going on? I was curious about that as well. We have floating cars, floating bubbles. We're inside of a bubble. He reminds me, I haven't seen the movie Baby Driver, but he reminds me of that uh, guy in Baby Driver who always has the headphones in. I just assume it's because there's so much input that he just needs to be able to tunnel vision lock in on one thing. I'm curious. This is very much a show don't tell sort of 
movie already. I have no idea what's going on with the world. I know there's a gravity anomaly. Oh, oh here we go. Bubbles fell all over the world. A huge explosion of uncertain origin occurred in the center of Tokyo and was enclosed in a gigantic bubble. Okay. Even after the bubble stopped falling elsewhere in the world, it kept falling here. Continued solely in the center of Tokyo, burst and turned into water. It like flooded. Tokyo was no longer the capital of Japan. Wow. An abandoned city. That's quite interesting. So everywhere else in the world seemingly is okay after their run-ins with the bubble, but here it's persistent. Tokyo became a residence prohibited zone. Boys began illegally residing in the area. Makes sense. First off, that's very dangerous. We know he's a parkour master. But second off, that makes me wonder who the bubble mermaid kind of creature was at the beginning, you know? Love that free-flowing motion. Is that a black hole? That could definitely cause a, <laughs> a gravitational anomaly. So this must be where we first meet the bubble mermaid who is the bubble we see looking worried on top of the tower i don't want another bubble collides with hers it like looks like a cell that started dividing infinitely it just takes the form of the first girl she sees maybe Oh, giving him air. I was like, whoa, but no. That makes much more sense. Breathing direct air into his lungs. I've never seen Wonder Egg Priority, but the under the art style gives me like those vibes. How vibrant it is. Oh, that is Tanjiro's voice actor. I could definitely recognize it. I can literally hear him say hear him say Muzan Kibutsuji. Hibiki here was about to meet his maker, but he made it thanks to this one. Parkour movement's insane. I'm so curious. She seems like instinctively like animalistic, but she's a bubble, right? What do you think you're doing? Hibiki? Huh? Play nice now. And find a way to repay. I'm so curious. I did not think this movie was going to be about somewhat post apocalyptic parkour. I don't necessarily want to be able to do parkour, but I would love my body to be able to move like this, you know? I used to be insanely flexible. That weird looking girl is actually pretty amazing. She might do great in a parkour game. Uta. Uta. Hibiki. Uta. Hey, Uta. Again, this is not what I was expecting for this, uh... this movie at all what, the hell was that? what sort of technological advancements sort of contraption you just blasted off animation and the cinematography is fantastic so far there's that flag that is some horse shit they are kind of cheating i won't lie Kind of a cool team name, though, I won't lie. The Undertakers. I like... There's a lot of visual symbolism of... I was about to say space, but also underwater. Like, how... It's so weird. Like, we started out in the cosmic galaxies, you know? And there's so much emphasis on water and... It gets deep, you know? Think about exploring the unknown. Think about the ocean. You think about space. Compares Hibiki to the, to the prince. I didn't, didn't even know she could talk. She's picking up fast. Shout out Uta. Little Mermaid and the Prince.
her eyes themselves look like a universe. Looks like a Milky Way, you know? Imagine having like less gravity and being able to free flow and bounce off bubbles and now this especially knowing that it's Hiroyuki Sawano like gives me AOT vibes like they're finally showing us beyond the wall we're finally seeing there's an ocean out there seeing Zeke for the first time literally gives me end of season two AOT vibes quite literally it's not all glamour and uh amazingness you know That is the human nature. That is the cycle of life. Life, death, rebirth, so on and so forth. But it's alive within us all now. And it has us in spots where it can't. Going to study it is it not weird to think about? What she's saying is so true, yet it feels fake because it's not going to happen even remotely conceptually in our lifetimes, you know? Like that will eventually happen one day. It's a crazy thing to think about. The vortex. Also similar to a black hole, another asp, you know. I, I do like that concept. A beautiful, lovely garden. I would love to have a garden of my own one day. Times like this all the time, I guess. Can't really be normal. Whether it's an actual disability that just over sensory you know, stimulation or auditory hypersensitivity. I know people like that, you know, getting MRIs and stuff. Got to a point she just left him in a, she stopped uh, like this. There are parents like that where a child who's needs you know it get too much for him you know he thought they were beautiful as you see other people's faces they're all worried and scared they look like soldiers and then when they died i saw him again yeah that is a uh, horribly sad i've never told anyone this much about myself i don't think i've ever had an anime character with a disability like that you know like i i relate and respect it you know like i think to like tanjiro and zenitsu and how they use their hypersensitivity in a good way like it's it's rare for an anime to show uh something like that is that her hitting those notes okay uta imagine this is breaks down to a musical now Gotta keep up parkour wise. It's gonna be a beautiful little montage of them going crazy, huh? Some beautiful shots. Some very dangerous parkour. But they're vibing. Like, look at that shot. Literally walking through the heavens. Mm -hmm. As the bubbles who are normally bouncing off each other miss, and then one pops. Because he immediately went in to touch her, and she knows if she touches him, she's going to, like, dissolve, turn into bubbles. I really don't know, but it's scary. Next, we want to watch Weathering With You. Because I've seen your name, but I've never seen Weathering With You. Is that the motherfucking morticians? They have technology like that? Again, their design looks straight out of Breath of the Wild. Oh hell no. The boots they were wearing were given to him by a sponsor. Got you. That's where they're getting the outside resources and the funds to be able to do this. How lame. That is very lame. Uta's like, oh yep. Yeah. Oh, I'ma eat that card. We got this. Uta. We're winning back. <laughs> I'm crushing it. Okay, it's Akio shit, Uta. <laughs> Let's go. You said just let me eat him. Zeus's first 
with his design, he looks like he should be out of Pokemon Sapphire. Like on that team that was trying to <laughs> free Kyogre. I swear he does. Oh, hell no. Oh, yeah. With how mm, you could fall, die? Hell no. All right, let's get this going. Ooh, great dodge. Got to avoid that antlion pit. Yeah, I like the crazy lobsters are on our team. Uh-huh. We're just going to blow up this entire metropolitan area. <laughs> Uta. Some bubbly action, maybe? I don't know. Again, I know I've said it a hundred times, but I get AOT vibes from the music. All right, way to believe. Talk about being a team player. Look at you, my boy. He said, all right, kiss me on your way out. Ooh, Hibiki. So now we're technically only down to two members. He sacrificed himself for us, but we got to win this now. Just us two. Look at them. Oh, my God. Look how seamless this is. Uta? He's not even worried either. Look at her having a good time. Hibiki is damn impressed. He said no sound for me. Let's go. Let's start free flowing. I love going inside then right back up. Some great cinematography. I don't think it's going to be that easy. Something's going to get in the way. Oh, you can't touch him. What is she going to do? Going to be one of those where she needs to to save him. Ooh. Okay, Uta. Get your ugly Breath of the Wild mask out of here. Mm. Get that flag, girly. Her arm is literally dissolving <laughs> First off, easily the most dangerous and hardest flag location we've seen so far of the movie. That dude's got a fucking cubic bush. That was crazy. Are you all right? I just hope, I hope it's more of a confusion wanting to help her than it is. I hope he's not like upset with her that she is the yeah, bubbles. Ooh, all that dude's drinking a Fanta. Hell yeah. Got Fantas, Coca-Colas, some beer, some green tea. Heck yeah. I hope Uta is okay. Not too upset. I wonder, I, like, they don't need to tell us the lore, but I'm so curious. What is these bubbles? What is she made out of? How did this happen? Are there alien gods? Ugh. I don't like the look of that. It's obviously got to be like imagery or nightmare, but ugh, I hate the look of that. See, now I'm like, ugh, you got to go back, Uta. They're, they're they're calling you back. That looks like a hive mind of of alien powers. See, I have no what the fuck is going on. What cause antline vortex anomaly black hole spiral circles of death everywhere? Uta. Bro, that was creepy and dark. Let's let's just do more parkour and, and be happy with music. 
Aw. That's nice. Thank you. I love the design in her eyes. They literally look like mini galaxies. Again, I feel like I'm about to look over the wall. Finally see Zeke for the first time. This is a beautiful shot, though. I love the colors. just like when it started oh this shit looks no i'm gonna look at bubbles different after this movie now it's like a vortex an individual bubble like and that's how we saw It was Uta that caused the explosion? To the surface of the ocean. Oh. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean she was the cause of the explosion, but she was definitely there. Wow. Oh, hell no. Those are quite literally evil bubbles. That is what it looks like from a top-down perspective outside the gigantic Tokyo-sized bubble. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, hell no. Crazy. Opened up a gateway for her. Like, it looks like she's. she said she's being called back to the ocean. So this is the ocean, but it looks like a black hole into space. Is it like there's so many lore things i'm confused about but they don't need to explain it like it's like Where are you on going? some hp lovecraft shit what? he's going you want to run that by us again? All right, I'll come. Just this once. and he was the one saying how important it is to be a team player Why'd you cancel out there? What the? you can't come on this is the team is that the fucking undertakers well, I, I mean, I get you. As long as you give me a good deal. Blue blazes. We're gonna burn it all down. Yeah. Again, I feel like it's Final Fantasy X, and I'm about to play some fucking... What is the game called? Why am I brain farting on the game in Final Fantasy X with the ball underwater? That Shin? Who caught my boy with his foot? I couldn't even tell. Two black holes? The boots won't be enough. I'll take the lead. That is that boy. Look at that boy. Parkour master. Mr. Amputated Leg. Look at you putting in work. I love the way he's running, like, not elegantly because of his amputated leg. Still got some of the cleanest parkour I've seen, my boy. With the one-footed back hops constantly. Clean as hell. Ooh, off the feet. Okay, Sanji. Who are you feeling like? He even broke his amputated leg. That's the most pressure he had right there. You can hear her singing in there. The same shape of the bubble. I like how he's not going on based off visual. He's purely going off auditory instinct it's listening to the sound of his girl i am so perplexed at what the lore or the reasoning behind this is it's 
So like, again, if Uta is is an individual bubble, she enveloped herself. She enveloped herself in him, so she could save him. She enveloped him in herself. But like, if Uta is one of these individual bubbles, is there a bubble god? Is there a bubble hive mind? She said her sisters were calling her back to the ocean like a little mermaid. Like, he says he angers the bubbles. Like, I'm so confused. That's when he got red. He should have been beyond dead. See? That's what I saw in Uta's vision. That's what I'm curious about. Is that a bubble hive mind? Is that... What the hell am I watching? I do like that they're pretty consistent with, like, the vortex spiral aesthetics of, of going on what do you mean sister what does this mean man is being jumped by some angry bubbles right now hmm. she dissolved to foam wow she doesn't care if she sacrifices herself in order to save him as long as what in the bubbly flying is going on Good. Her body was rapidly turning into sea foam. And i like how it does connect to the, to the little mermaid hamakoto said it's a sad story the doves are are piercing the the red bubbles it is very beautiful a beautiful way of sac self sacrifice visually turning into the, the bubble doves. I respect you, girly. As she falls to the bottom of the ocean, turning into sea foam. Mm. Finally, get that kiss we deserve. Every Hibiki out there needs a girl like Uta. Even the red bubbles are like, damn, this is touching. We'll give him a moment. Of course, I gotta make it on like an island with the sun setting and the. She falls up to heaven. Mm. As the seashell is the only thing that stays. R.I.P. Uta, man. R.I.P. Uta. She's there. Kind of cool. She gives uh, everyone a little semblance of her still being in their hearts, you know. As it's a vortex. A spiral of life and death, you know. It's a very uh, beautiful, but sad shot. With the little cat cup and the shell for Uta. That's cute. That is cute. Our blue blazes. We're gonna burn it all down. Yeah. I like how Hibiki's just... <laughs> In there now. I wonder if uh, this is exactly how we started the movie too. I wonder if on our adventure out here, I wonder if we're gonna get any semblance of Uta. I like how they're rebuilding the city as well. The bubble phenomenon is gone, you know. Oh, there she is. That's my girl. W Uta. I love that shot. That's a nice shot to end it off on. All right. Uh, great movie. Absolutely completely different than what I was assuming it was going to be. I obviously assumed it had something to do with bubbles, but I was not expecting parkour, uh, a love story. It to get as scientifically and deep as it did like it really makes you think perspective wise on your life the grandiose story your place in this world as a whole you know it's it, it make, makes you think you know because yes we're a minute minuscule little grain of, of of speck into this infinite universe and this galaxy and this never-ending area in which we call life but it's like we are a part of the main cycle that that create you know it gets deep 
like five billion years from now like all of this everything that we know the concept of what we know it as is not going to be here anymore it's going to be all gone and 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 re-emerging it's a crazy concept to think about but um great movie great characters great animation fantastic animation oh my lord um great voice acting cast even for the dub my voice starting to crack right now i'm getting emotional um great movie thank you again check out the patreon for early access and the full uncut version check out the twitch to watch the movies early as well um i appreciate y'all have a great day dapper squad don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them peace out